Tank Radio. Today I'm going to attempt another satellite contact. It's been like I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I just don't know. Um, I might have someone to come on here to help me figure this out. Play that awesome intro video. Just a quick review here. I'm building my portable satellite station. Is based around the Aero 2 antenna, and that is a 2 meter 440 directional antenna. Never leave home without your bag of adapters. And finally, the base to hold my phone. The phone's pretty important, it helps me track the satellite as it moves across the sky. Here is my first deployment of my portable satellite system. I can rotate it left to right, I can move it up, and polarization! Let's see how it did in the first couple of deployments. Let's go ahead and tweak polarization. Just look how easy that is. When I first started chasing satellites, I was going after almost every satellite listed in heavens above here. At the time, I didn't know every satellite listed here had either different modes or the, maybe the satellite was dead and not operating in an amateur capacity and I was getting a lot of static. Then I was pointed to the AMSAT. This page shows the reported status of the satellites that they are tracking. Status shows each satellite in the row and what the reported status is. This blue is reported for transponder slash repeater activity. For example, AO7 is reported three times heard. This site shows us the current status or the known status of these satellites. And then you can go ahead and target these satellites that are known working for your pass that you're trying to do. This is KAG 5AH J. Echo Mary 55. Kilo Golf 5 Alpha Tail Juliet. Kilo Golf 5 Alpha Tail Juliet. The problem with the Baofeng, it is a half duplex receive radio. That means it can only receive on the A side or the B side at a single time. This radio does have a dual monitor mode, which means that it monitors both the A side and the B side and switches to whatever side it has a signal. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that. We're going to the menus and we're going to turn on TDR, whatever that means. Turn it on, exit the menu. Now, the flashing arrow means that it is actively receiving the weather radio. Even though the primary channel is the A side. It will go ahead and switch back to the B side after I transmit if there's nothing being received on the A side. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that. This is KG5AHJ. Gotta keep it legal. And now it's back to the B side. Or at least receiving. You don't get this functionality when you open up the squelch like you do when you're listening to the satellites. Let me go ahead and show that. And we're going to turn off the squelch, turn it to zero, exit. Now the A side is receiving a signal. Technically, we broke squelch and it's receiving nothing but static. This comes into play when trying to work with satellites. When you're trying to transmit on the 2 meter side and then receive on a 440 signal. So you want to transmit and then jump to the B side so you can hear. But with the squelch active or disabled, it's not going to do that jump for you and you will have to hit this tab button to switch it to the other side and that takes a second or two. so you might miss someone coming back to you or at least part of the message coming back to you let me go ahead and demonstrate that so I'm on the A side 
I'm going to transmit again. This is KG5AHJ. And as soon as I'm done, I got to hit button to jump to the other side. And this costs you time, which you might miss that contact. At this point, I decided to go to a Waxan radio. It has dual receive capabilities. That means it can monitor both sides at once. Keel Golf 5 Alpha Hotel Juliet. Kilo Golf 5 Alpha Hotel Juliet Echo Mike 17. Kilo Golf 5 Alpha Hotel Juliet. Kilo Golf 5 Alpha Hotel Juliet Delta Nancy The issues that I had with the walk sand radio, this radio is the KG V55, is that for some reason the A side is not receiving or it's not displaying the audio it's receiving and the B side is not transmitting but it receives. This bit me once when I was trying to do a satellite contact where I was trying to do it the opposite way and the next contact I've just figured out or it came to me I just swapped the sides I was using so now I'm only transmitting on A and receiving on B. This radio is a dual receive it can receive on A and B sides simultaneously, but is, when it's transmitting, it's not going to be receiving on the B side. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that. Right now, it's actively receiving on the B side, which is just static. Let's go ahead and enter the weather radio. Okay, I got the weather side entered in now. It's receiving weather information. So we'll go back to the A side and I go ahead and transmit. This is KG5AHJ. But it goes back automatically to the B side after you're done transmitting. At this point, I, I don't know what to do. I tried everything I could think of and I need some help. Adam, come and help me. I haven't made any contacts yet. That's what it kind of boils down to. I think I got the antenna good. I tried the walk sand using the Baofeng radio, which is only a half duplexing. Hearing right. the satellite um, sometimes almost crystal clear. I think I have everything else kind of working well. It's just I'm not hearing anyone coming back to me. So, so ha of the passes you've had, have you had any of them while you're listening where it sounds like there's really any kind of gaps in in communication, or have they all been just pure insanity? Um, <laughs> a lot of times, pure insanity. I, there's been a couple of times I think yeah. on contests. I am able to pick up a satellite that there were noticeable gaps. I think everyone else was doing HF stuff and um, that really helped trying to get me in there. Um, and a couple of morning passes that I did, um, the gaps were very noticeable and I tried to get in there. Yeah. And, and to, to clarify, you're, you're, uh, are you using a duplexer and are you trying to run full duplex on this? Yes, I so do. Are you... Are you, are you are you listening on the downlink for yourself while you're transmitting? I do have a duplexer on there. I bought the Aero 2 antenna and that does have a duplexer and I did that so I can future proof myself so when I do get a radio that does full duplex I could transmit and receive at the same time. I don't have to go out and buy the adapter again for or uh, for an additional $50 I think it was. You could buy it with the everything and it was $30 and you could buy it separately and it was $50. Ah right so um, but what I what I forgot about your antenna is that it, it's technically two antennas cross polarized right? Correct. That's how that one works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so you have two separate feeds for that that then go into the duplexer, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So ha have you tried? Um, so so my my setup is a little different. I have a single antenna that's dual banded, so I need to split the the single antenna to two radios mm -hmm. if I want 
full duplex, um, and even that is is marginal. Um, so, so have you tried with two radios, one on receive and one on on your, as your trans? I have not yet. I've just been using the single cable out of it as as for the duplexer. Um, okay. And I now thinking about that now since you mentioned that I probably could because there's BNC connectors coming off of the driven element both on the two meter and the 70 centimeter side Ooh, I said that right the first time yay um, <laughs> that's that's a mouthful for me um, I think I can go well I do have a, a BNC connector somewhere that can be an extension cable and then I can use the bow thing and the walk sand at the same time and um, Ooh, but then I got to be playing with two radios. You, you, you can get by with not adjusting the two meter side. Um, as long as you adjust the 70 centimeter on your receive, that's going to be the more sensitive one. And you're, you're probably going to be good without adjusting for Doppler on the two meter side, mm -hmm. especially when the satellite is more overhead and it's, it's not transiting so much toward you or away from you. It's kind of just going across. Mm -hmm. It doesn't impact the frequency as much at that point. So, so I think, I think that's going to be the key. Um, number one, look for a, a less busy pass if you can. Mm -hmm. um, and then for and me, for you, that's probably, probably coming from probably the... going to be something kind of to the south of you. Mm -hmm. There's less population down there. So less people are going to be trying to get into that. Um, and then try to run full duplex. So get rid of that duplexer. Use two radios. I would use the radio with the better receiver, probably the Woshun on the downlink. So on your tip for m most of the satellites these days, the 70 centimeter side, because it's gonna do a little better job of the extra filtering mm -hmm. to keep you from interfering with yourself. And then use the Baofeng on the uplink. And you could, uh, you'll definitely want headphones with that, right? So it's, um, so you're not interfering with yourself while you're receiving and transmitting. And, um, and then, you know, I, I would even consider with that extension that you mentioned, putting one of them like uh, putting your transmit radio in your pocket or something and using a speaker mic to, to, you know, have it accessible to your hand while you're trying to manage the antenna and manage the VFO on the 70 centimeter downlink. Interesting. I was thinking kind of the other way around to have the um, receive side. You know what? I th I, the pocket one might work better. I was thinking the receive side be in like that little earpiece. So when I do transmit, I don't get the echo and the feedback loop. Well, the, the key is that, yeah, you want the receive side in, in your earbud or in your headphones because you want to be able to hear, you want to see if you can hear other people transmitting into the, the repeater while you're trying to get in. Mm -hmm. And if you key down and you hear somebody else talking, just unkey. Mm -hmm. um, if you key down and you don't hear anybody talking, throw out, throw out your call sign in grid square and if you're getting into it, you should actually hear your voice coming back into your ears through the repeater on the downlink. And that's how you'll know you're getting in. Sounds good. I, I think I could go ahead and do that. Um, yeah. For some reason, bypassing the duplexer. And now that shouldn't be an issue, though. If I plug in one wired straight to the duplexer and then the other one to the radio and then on the other band, just plug that straight into the radio. That shouldn't cause any issues, right? Um, yeah, so you're saying just leave one of the radios going through the duplexer and yeah. not? Yeah, I don't think I have any yeah, another that, that adapter to get that yeah. working. No, that, that will work. Yeah, that'll work just fine. Your losses for that should be minimal and it, it shouldn't have hardly any impact. So, so yeah, that should work. The, the last thing I would say uh -huh. is tr triple check and make sure your frequency on your uplink and your PL tone are right because that's that's shut me down a few times too. I think you learned that lesson as well, yeah. obviously. Um, but uh, make sure you got those and, and it'll be good. Thank you, Adam, for coming on and helping me. Cool, no problem. Good luck. My plan is to hook a radio up to the duplexer and then that to the two meter side. Then using another radio and an extension cable with a BNC adapter, hook that to the 70 centimeter side. Now this antenna is able to use two radios for transmitting and the other one can receive at the same time.